So we're now we're going to move on kind of towards what we talked about the Seahawks. We told uh, we you know we said we're going to get to them kind of more lastly. Um, big announcement: uh, Chris Carson retires. Uh, he retires at twenty seven after five years with the Seattle Seahawks. So in those five years, he accumulated three thousand five hundred two rushing yards, eight hundred four receiving yards, and thirty one total touchdowns. He was a two time one thousand yard rusher, um, but he had to. Uh, it was kind of interesting. He retired due to a neck injury, but it wasn't really his choice. Um, Seattle later confirmed that they released him with a failed physical designation, which actually allows him to collect um, how, how um, uh, injury protection benefits with with that. So, I mean, Seattle with their quarterback situation, losing a running back, they got. I really, I really like Kenneth Walker. They got out of the second round that, this past year out of Michigan State. It'll be really interesting to see him play. Um, and even Rashad Penny is still dealing with some injuries too. So, um, but yeah, we're, uh, we're seeing, you know, we're seeing some guys retire younger due to the injuries that wasn't really their fault. wasn't their choice really, but I mean, they got to do what's best for the health. Yeah. And, uh, Carson was outstanding when he was playing, he was a beast. Um, yep. and, uh, he got the job done, but the problem was, you know, just injuries all throughout his career. And uh, Rashad Penny, also injury prone. Um, he came back at the what was at the end of the year last year and just yeah. uh, went off like crazy. We'll see mm -hmm. if he can do it again. But if not, look for Kenneth Walker to kind of emerge as the go-to guy there in Seattle. So uh, I'm with you. I like Kenneth Walker. Um, and if you guys are drafting uh, in your dynasty leagues or whatever, your rookie drafts or even startup drafts, like that's a guy that, that <laughs> might be worth getting yeah. your hands on. Um, mm -hmm. Cause, cause that job's going to be there for him. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's going to be, well, you know, notoriously P Carroll likes to run, run first offense more. Um, I mean, they could, they could have some success on the ground with if a shot can carry his momentum from last year into this year. And if Kenneth Walker really does, um, live with the potential they're hoping for because this dude won the uh, what's it called the Doak Walker Award for college football's best running back last year. He had uh, over 1600 rushing yards and 18 touchdowns last year as a running back, so he has a lot of potential. Yeah, if you're looking for dynasty or a, a keeper guy like him, like look at him, look at Brees Hall, look at maybe James Cook, you know. But this guy, it could be special, and I think if the, the Seahawks can. They don't win a whole lot of games and say they're in the top five picks for next year, maybe top eight. They could get a guy they like and build a kind of a team moving forward with 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 the roster they have, you know, because they still got DK Metcalf and you know, Tyler Lock and all that. So can't ignore that. Thank you for listening to Ginger's Talk Football. Subscribe now so you don't miss an episode, and be sure to leave us a five star review. Follow us on Twitter at Official Gingers. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Ginger's Talk Football.